just the way you want it. Here's a look at some of the stories that you may have missed while you were offline. CBS and AM. Stream free weekdays on CBSN. Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. It's good to be with you. Thanks for joining us. It is looking likely President Trump will become the first U.S. president to be impeached twice. House Democrats say they have the votes to do it. The only thing that could stop them would be for Vice President Mike Pence and the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment. The vote could take place as early as Wednesday. The charge inciting the insurrection at the Capitol last week. CBS News Chief Congressional Correspondent Nancy Cordes leads off our coverage from Capitol Hill. House Democrats made it official today. The House will be in order. Introducing a resolution urging Vice President Mike Pence to activate the 25th Amendment. To declare President Donald J. Trump incapable of executing the duties of his office. The vote will come tomorrow. And if Vice President Pence does not respond, Democrats move to phase two on Wednesday. We have more than a majority to pass the article of impeachment. California's Ted Lieu co-authored the impeachment resolution, which argues that President Trump gravely endangered the security of the United States last Wednesday. I heard a lot of Republicans saying that this would hamper unity in Congress and in the country. What's your reaction to that? The best way to heal and unify our nation is to hold accountable those who attacked our capital and those who incited that attack. That begins at the very top, starting with Donald Trump. We're going to walk down to the Capitol. President Trump, banned from Twitter, has not expressed remorse over the uprising. In fact, he presented a Medal of Freedom today to Congressman Jim Jordan, who helped lead the charge last week to contest the election without proof of widespread fraud. Americans instinctively know there was something wrong with this election. Today, Airbnb joined the growing list of companies vowing to withhold support from Republicans who voted against the certification of the presidential election results. Hallmark even asked two senators to refund its donations. Missouri Senator Josh Hawley is now facing calls to resign in his hometown paper and on the streets of St. Louis. I would like a person to lose power when he misuses power. The organizers of the PGA Championship have pulled out of plans to host the tournament at President Trump's Bedminster Golf Club next year. House Democrats say if they impeach him this week, they intend to send the article to the Senate right away, meaning a trial could get underway just as President-elect Biden is taking office. Mr. Biden said today he's been discussing a workaround with congressional leaders. The question is whether or not you can bifurcate this. Can you go half day on dealing with the impeachment and half day getting my people nominated and confirmed in the Senate? New Jersey Democrat Bonnie Watson Coleman announced today that she tested positive after sheltering with several colleagues who refused to wear masks. Video from last week shows a group of House Republicans rejecting masks while they were being held in 